One of the coolest metals that has been discovered is mercury. Because it's a metal and it's in liquid form in normal temperatures. On the table of elements, mercury is known as Hg. Because before they named it mercury, they would call it hydrogrirum, and in Latin it means silver and water. Mercury is a very dense metal, and that is why it's extremely heavy. Like one milliliter of water weighs one gram, but one milliliters of mercury weighs 13.6 gram, and that's 13 and a half times the weight of water. It's that dense. This liquid is so dense that when you put a coin on top of it, it floats on top like a tube in the ocean. So is this metal always in liquid form? No, it could be a solid as well, but in a very low temperature. Mercury freezes at negative 39 degrees Celsius. And if it gets any warmer, it will slowly turn into a liquid. From the other side, it turns into gas very easily. And at only 360 Celsius, it will turn into gas. But we have to know that heating up mercury and turning it into steam is a very dangerous task because there's chances of explosion and breathing the fumes could be extremely dangerous. If you touch mercury and afterwards you touch your eyes or anywhere where flesh is exposed like your mouth and if the mercury enters your body, it could be very cancerous. But it doesn't cause any danger through the skin. This metal shouldn't be handled by just anybody, and it should be worked on in a laboratory. It is true that it doesn't enter your skin, but handling it is dangerous. This element is so dense that when you pour it on the ground, it doesn't spread everywhere like water, and it tries to stay together. If there's different drops next to each other, they try to go next to each other, and combine and create one puddle. Just like every other type of metal, mercury is a good electrical conductor. They use mercury for different types of switches, and it turns it on and off with gravity. So when the gravity comes down, the mercury connects the wires together and turns the light on. And when it goes down, it stops the connection and the light turns off. The name of these switches is called the tilt switch. Where does mercury even come from? Where is the mine? We have to note that this mercury you're seeing right now doesn't look like this in nature, but you could get it from the nature. There's a type of rock called a cinnabar. There's two different colors to this rock. Red and black. The red one was so red that back in the day, they use it as a red pigment to color stuff. Both red and black cinnabars could be turned into the mercury we know. But they have to get roasted. If you take a torch to the ore of a cinnabar, you will receive some mercury. If you pour mercury onto aluminum, the aluminum gets angry and has a reaction. Where you pour the mercury, it turns into aluminum oxide and it starts to rise. You could say the aluminum is rotting away by doing this. This reaction is the reason that you cannot take any mercury into an airplane because most of an airplane's structure is made of aluminum. And as you guys can see, it's not a very safe element to have on board. If you insert your finger into mercury and pull it out, you'll see that your finger is very dry. So why didn't any of it stick to your finger? Because it's so dense that it doesn't like to insert the pores of your skin. 
Or in other words, the atoms are in a way that can't insert the pores of the skin. But if you end up touching mercury, you have to know that you need to wash your hands very thoroughly and you have to make sure there is no mercury left on your skin. But you also have to know this, people that work with mercury for a very long time have a higher chance of mercury entering their body. Because you could see this in scientists back in the day, scientists that worked with mercury for a very long time and they were very careful with it, but they ended up getting cancer anyway. Nowadays, people that handle mercury in a regular basis have their correct clothes, gloves, and masks to work with it, and they don't want to risk anything. And it's good to know that back in the day, mercury was in medicine as well. The most famous medicine that had mercury in it was calomel. This was a form of laxative, and a lot of people would use it. Then they realized that mercury is poison for humans. And after around World War II, they took away mercury from medicine. But still, mercury is used in some vaccines. And it's in the vaccine to prevent fungi or other types of bacteria. But some people believe that the mercury in the vaccine could cause autism. But scientists have not found anything related to that. Until a few years ago, there was mercury in a lot of things. Thermometer, which is the most famous one we all know. Batteries. And different types of fluorescent lights. And slowly, they're being taken away. It's good to know that bullets used to have mercury as well in them. Because they would mix ethanol and mercury nitrate. And they would get a white type of gunpowder that would be inserted into bullets. But let's talk about the history of mercury, which should be interesting for you. The name of this is Mercury, and Mercury was the name of a Roman god, and it's also named after the first planet closest to the sun. But Romans didn't discover Mercury. Mercury was first used in ancient Egypt, and it's more than 4,000 years old. We don't know what they used it in ancient Egypt, but it was found in the graves of different people, and the historians and archaeologists found it in their graves. We said all the cool and interesting facts about the mercury. If you guys know anything else interesting about mercury, please leave a comment and let everybody know.